Hello, welcome to Straight No Chaser Tarot. Today I'll be doing a reading for the Scorpio Collective. My readings are timeless, so whenever you see them, if it resonates, then it is for you. First of all, I'm going to pull a card from my Oracle deck, Unshakable Inner Peace. And the card that I pulled is the number, the number 27. And it says, the universe rewards motion. What guided action can you take today? So, that is number 27. Do you fantasize about your future but don't know how to get there? Do you have anxiety because you feel trapped by your current reality? Are you overwhelmed by choice or lack of clarity? If so, you could be at a standstill. It can be hard to move forward when the path is unclear. But this is a reminder that you have everything you need to move into the next phase of your life. The universe is always supporting you. You may want clarity before taking a step forward, but the universe doesn't work that way. Only when you take steps and move forward can the universe conspire to uplift and support your momentum. Trust this process and watch the magic of the journey open up. What steps can you take today to move forward? The vision in your heart and mind? You may feel stuck and trapped by life circumstances, but each step you take will reveal more of the plan. Take guided action and watch your life transform. The universe knows what is in your heart, and the universe knows the quickest, most harmonious way to get what you truly need and want. Trust the timing. Manifesting what you want can be a joyful experience when you recognize it as a process. First, set your intention. What do you truly desire? The universe is on standby waiting patiently to swoop in and support you. All you need to do is take a step in any direction and ask for what you want. Know that you cannot make a mistake for all experiences are valuable. You'll either learn more about what you want or about what you don't want. Your mantra for today is, I am right where I need to be to get where I want to go. I take inspired, guided action forward. So that is the message for the tarot card, or the, I mean the oracle card of the reading. Now I'm going to get into the tarot part of the reading. Um, I'll be doing a Celtic cross for you today. So your present position is the death card. So, so you're going to need to leave something behind so you can get to an, a different place in your journey. You could have been suffering quite a bit um, where you are at the moment, but um, you are transforming the situation that you are in currently. And and by transforming and going through whatever you're going through at the moment, um, which is only temporary, you will feel better as you go through this process of transfer transformation. 
Now, what can be challenging you at this time? You might feel like there is someone around you who is not honest and trustworthy. You might feel on guard and feel like you have to watch your back all the time when you're with this person. There could be a lot of dishonesty and um, they could be strategizing to to um, not let you go where you go where you are trying to go. They might do little sneaky things to set you back and make it hard for you to get where you're trying to get to. Now in your past, it's a chariot. So even though you might be dealing with someone who is sneaky and trying to stop you from moving forward, you are not going to allow them to stop you no matter how hard or they try to make it to be for you. You're going to push forward no matter what. Now, in your future position is a three of hearts. So you could have been, so someone, you could have been heartbroken by the person most on your mind at this time. They could have done something to make you suffer. They could have been dealing with someone else. They could have been cheating. So, it's a possibility that, well, if they haven't cheated, they could be thinking about um, cheating in the future. And they want to try to make you be, um, make you believe that that they are not that kind of person. When in reality, because you know you're in, you're a very intuitive person, and you know in your heart that this person is sneaky and and can go out and you know, be unfaithful to you with someone else. Now, what, you, what you're currently thinking about consciously at this time is that um, it's a hermit. You feel like you need to take some time away from this person and sit back and contemplate and think about your situation and think what would be the next move for you to make. Or the best move for you to make at this time. You you're you um you feeling a need for solitude to go within and seek the answers that is best for you. What might be going on unconsciously, you might not even be aware of it at the time. At this time it's the Queen of Pentacles. So, someone, you might, someone might be in your life who represent the Queen of Pentacles um, to, um, to you have the Queen of Pentacles energy or you is, or you are, you are wanting someone in your life with the Queen of Pentacles energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is a person who values family and home life. And is a kind and truthful person and, and very practical. You might, after dealing with this here person that you're dealing with currently, you might have a longing for someone with the Queen of Pentacles energy.
So what I have for your advice is a judgment card. So you might need to take some time out for some for some self assessment. And you need to try and balance your priorities. Now, the judgment card is represented by the element of fire and the planet of Pluto. And if I'm not mistaken, that is one of your planets, Scorpio. Um, now, some things that could be, um, influencing, influencing you at the time is the five of pentacles, you know, five, the number five represents change, the five of cups, um, represent, um, water, and it also represents Scorpio. So you might be feeling a lot of pain at this time and suffering because of the because of this person that you've been dealing with who you know who you know don't have the right intentions when it comes to you. You might be feeling disillusionment because I think that you love this person a whole lot and and you're mourning what could have been with this person so that is what that is what is going on around you or going on with you at this time. So now we're going to look at your hopes or your fears. It's the devil. The devil is in your hopes and fears. So you might... You might hate that you feel so bound to this person. And you feel like this person bring, triggers you and brings out your lower self, your shadow self. You're dealing with this person. This person tends to make you feel a sense of powerlessness because they probably tend to play a lot of head games with you and use a lot of manipulative energy with you. You don't like feeling so so bound to this person. But right now you're still feeling helpless or powerless powerlessness to do anything about it. You're going to just have to go through this pain and feel it. And if you are willing to just sit with this pain for a while, after so long, the pain will start subsiding and you will start feeling better. And the outcome for you is... is that once you do get through this pain and suffering that the opportunity for you to find a true connection with someone who truly can love you and respect you and value you in return will work out for you. You will have that happy family life in a stable home, in a peaceful home. So that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoy this reading. 
if it resonated with you, please give me a a um a thumbs up and a like. Thank you for for supporting my channel and events. And I wish you love and light. Uh, until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.